Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will create a hologram effect in the Fendi photo. First, go to File Open and select the image of the walkway. Second, go to the Layers panel. Click on the Adjustments icon and select the Curves Adjustment. We want to make the image slightly darker for this effect. Take the right point and drag it down. Now, go to File Open and select the Ninja image. This will open in another tab. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the mode to Add. Then, check the Snap to Edges box. To increase the size of the brush, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. Take the brush and select the woman. Switch to the subtract mode if you need to remove an area you didn't want in the selection. Once you've selected the woman, go to the context toolbar and hit refine. Set the output to new layer and click apply. Next, copy the new layer that was created and paste it onto the walkway image. Go to the transform panel and click the lock aspect ratio. Then resize the image. This will keep the proportions of our image intact while we resize it. Press Ctrl and click on the Ninja layer in the Layers panel. This will reactivate the selection. Next, go to the Select menu and click Invert Pixel Selection. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 1 pixels and hit Apply. This will add some blurriness to the edges of the Ninja. After that, press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection, or go to the Select menu and click Deselect. With the Ninja image still selected, press Ctrl and J two times to make two duplicates of this image. You should have a total of three Ninja layers. In the Layers panel, label the original Ninja layer Motion Blur. Next, name the first duplicate Luminosity. Then, name the second duplicate Glow. Turn the Glow and Luminosity layers off. Then, select the Motion Blur layer and set its Blend Mode to Linear Light. With the Motion Blur layer selected, go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the radius to 40 pixels and leave the rotation to 0 degrees. Then hit apply. Now turn the glow layer back on. Set the opacity of this layer to 30%. Click on the FX Layers Effect icon. Select the inner glow effect. Set the blend mode to color dodge. Opacity to 30%. And the color to white. Next, click the Outer Glow effect. Go to the color and select the RGB hex lighters. Enter the following hex code 0080F9. Then, set the blend mode to Color Dodge. Opacity to 100%. Radius to 50 pixels. And intensity to 50%. Now, turn on the Luminosity layer in the Layers panel. Then, change the blend mode of this layer to Luminosity. Next, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. Go to the Swatches panel and select the black 50% color. The hex code for this color is 808080. 
With the new layer still selected, go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. This will fill the pixel layer with the gray color. Select the filled layer, then go to the filters menu. Click on colors and select half tone. Set the screen to line, cell size to 5, and the contrast to 40. Hit apply. This will create our scan lines. Make sure snapping is on in the toolbar. Now resize this layer by dragging the bottom center part to the middle. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate this layer, or right click on it and select duplicate. Hold shift and drag the duplicated layer down to the bottom half of the image. We did this to make the lines smaller. After that, go to the layers panel. Turn off the ninja layers and the curves and the background layers. Next, select the two line layers. Right click on the layers and select Merge Visible. Now, delete the original line layers and turn the other layers back on. In the layers panel, drag the line layer inside of the glow layer. Select the Glow, Luminosity, and the Motion Blur layers in the Layers panel. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers together, or right-click on the selection and click Group. With the group still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the group. Label the original group 1 and the duplicated layer 2. Now select the second group layer. Click the FX on the Glow layer and go to Inner Glow. Go to Colors and set it to 00EFFF. Then set the opacity to 100%, radius to 30 pixels, and leave the intensity at 50%. Next, go to the Outer Glow effect. Select the color and change it to the following color, 6087FF. Set the opacity to 80%. In the Layers panel, drag the second group layer below the first layer. Then, decrease the opacity of the group to 75%. After that, select the first and the second group layers. Next, press Ctrl and G to put these groups into one big group. Now, click the Adjustment icon and select the HSL Adjustment. Click the blue channel. Then, go to the Hue Shift and set it to 52 degrees. Set the Saturation Shift to 5%. Feel free to use a different color if you want. Go to the Layers panel. Click on the Add Pixel layer to add a new layer. Next, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Swatches panel and enter the following hex code, 32999A. This is the same color that's in our hologram. Take the brush and draw over the feet area. Then, drag this pixel layer below the Ninja Group layer in the Layers panel. With the color layer still selected, go to the Filters menu, then select Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 50 pixels. After that, set the blend mode of this layer to Screen, and lower the opacity to 70%. In the Layers panel, label the pixel layer Ground Glow. Now, go to the Layers panel. Click on the Add Pixel Layer to add another new pixel layer. Grab the Paintbrush tool again from the Tools panel. We want to reflect some of the hologram light onto the walls. Set the fill color to the previous color we used, which is 32999A, or whatever color you use for your hologram. In the Context toolbar, set the hardness to 0%. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key, and press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. 
Take the brush and draw on the right side of the wall and on the ground. Now go to the filters menu. Select blur, Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 100 pixels. Then go to the layers panel and set the blend mode to screen. In the layers panel, lower the opacity to 30%. In the layers panel, click the add pixel layer. This will be for the lighting on the other wall. Then grab the paintbrush tool. Since the other side of the hologram has a white color, we want to reflect that on the left side of the wall. Go to the swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to open the color chooser. Set the fill color to E8EAE6. Now take the paintbrush tool and draw on the left side of the wall. After that, go to the filters menu. Select Blur Gaussian Blur. Then set the radius to 100 pixels. In the Layers panel, lower the opacity to 30%. With the left wall light layer still selected, grab the Perspective tool from the Tools panel. Adjust this layer so that it's placed more on the wall. And this is how to create a hologram effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.